Hello and welcome to Sampler So Long Basic Block 14 tutorial. This is for the Sampler So Long that we are hosting with Rita's Roost, Mona Dickwet, Rowena, and myself. Today is April 12th, 2024. We have chosen Clay's Choice by Delaware Quilts. But as I have been doing in the series, I have been writing my own pattern so I can share the cutting instructions with you. Now, if you did block 13 with us last week, we did Nancy Star. If you did that block, you're a step ahead of the game because this is going to be very, very simple and very similar. Um, so I picked out my fabric. I have my background and my two printed choices. We are going to cut these blocks very simple. And let me just get out this out of the way. And I'm not even going to label these blocks because again, it's going to be very simple. So we have, again, our background and our two fabric choices. You are going to decide which fabric, printed fabric, you want as your stars. Um, so I'm using my lighter fabric as my stars. We are going to cut eight three and a half inch squares from our background fabric. You are going to cut eight three and a half inch squares from your fabric right here. And the star point here is three and a half by six and a half. So you have eight three and a half, eight three and a half, and four three and a half by six and a half inch. So we are going to set this aside and I am going to set my panels aside. What you are going to do is you are going to take four of your background squares and four of your print, three and a half squares, just like that. And you are simply going to sew these together, taking a quarter inch seam. And you're going to make four of those. And we are going to go ahead and do that. All right. So I do. I have made my four units that all look like this. I pressed to the print side or the dark side. And now I'm just going to set this aside and we are going to work on the remaining, with the remaining fabrics. So you should have four three and a half inch fabric squares or three and a half background fabric and your four three and a half by six and a half inch rectangle. Now what I do want you to do is on the back side of the three and a half squares on all eight, we're going to make that wonderful diagonal line. On the back side of each fabric. And you're going to do that to all eight three and a half inch squares. Once that's completed, you are going to take a three and a half inch rectangle set it on a top and aligning aligning your square 
front sides facing each other so that it looks like this. So you want to match up that corner. It is going to flip. If you put your finger down, it will flip up towards your top right hand corner. And if it helps to go ahead and stick a pin in there to keep that together. And then you are going to take it to the sewing machine and sew directly on that line. So you're going to take it to the sewing machine and sew directly on that line. We are going to do that now to all four rectangles. All right, so I have sewn up all of my units, and when I fold it out, it should meet at the top, and we'll have a unit like this. And then what we're going to do is take our ruler, and we are just going to cut a quarter of an inch away from the sewn line, the line that we just sewed, and we are going to cut a quarter of an inch, putting it diagonally, saving that scrap aside from the project. And again, when we open it up, it should look like this. And then we just, you just want to go ahead and press towards your background fabric. So I'm going to do. So now I have already cut a quarter of an inch away and pressed all my rectangles towards the background fabric. We're just going to repeat this process. We've already have our drawn diagonal line on our remaining four three and a half inch squares. And you are going to repeat that process, making certain that you turn the block towards you and that piece that you just sewn on that background fabric is now facing to your bottom left hand corner. And so when you flip this piece over, this one will be on your top right hand corner. And you are just gonna go ahead, take that same line so directly on that line that you've drawn, and you're going to repeat it to all four units. Let's go ahead and get that. Well, I finished sewing that on. I have sewn on my line. When I lift it up, it meets at the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that a quarter of an inch away from that line I drew. Corner to corner. And our block now looks like this. I am going to press towards that three and a half inch square that we just placed on. And my box should now look like this. Okay. So I have my four units. Now we're going to do block assembly, which is really easy. I'm going to set three of these aside. We are going to take that first unit that we made. And it is going to look like this with your print block on the top left hand corner and the print block that matches on your top right hand corner. Okay, 
So it's going to look like this. And we are just going to fold it over and take a quarter inch seam. We are going to do that. And we're going to make it for all four units. All right, so we have our back. We have sewn all our units together, and they should look like this. Now, the important part before we move on to the next step is to make sure that our blocks are now six and a half by six and a half. So we're going to square that up. My ruler does have a six and a half inch marking on it. So if your ruler has that, and I am going to find, square this up by making certain that my three and a quarter mark intersects right at the bottom of that block, right in the center of that block. So I'm finding my center point, making sure I am square, that I am in the six and a half, and we are going to square that up. Making sure everything is square. Now you could skip this part, but not everybody and not everybody's block will come out at six and a half. You know, we sew a little wonky, we're not paying attention. And so to get better results, if we square it up at six and a half, everything will align better. So now we have this, and what we're going to do is assemble our blocks. We are going to make sure the printed square is on the outside corners, just like that. They're all facing the outside corners. Let me see if I can get that into frame for you. Now we are going to simply flip this over, flip this over, and take a quarter of an inch seam on both units. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we have those sewn. I did give it a press, and now that this is going to be our final sew. We are going to put it like this, and we are going to just sew a quarter of the inch away, being careful of that intersection right there. It may get a little bulky, so if you need to go ahead and put a pin right there just to keep everything. When you go over that bulk, just take it slow. And I will see you right back. And here we have it. We have our Clay's Choice block. And I actually made another one that I have not ironed out that looks like this. It's the same color. I just flipped where my colors were. So my, pit, my pinwheels are pink here and they are actually the ribbon portion over there and I am going to make an entire quilt with these three basic colors and because I love this fabric one and this fabric one is by Moda and it is called Picnic Pop by me and my sister and I just love that it is going to go into a um, 
charity quilt that I'll be donating. So I just thought it was really pretty colors and I just happened to love this line. If you would like to show me what you are making, you are always welcome to email me at awkwardquilterga at gmail.com. And I'll feature it in my community on the YouTube page. You are always invited and welcome to join us Monday nights at 8 p.m. Central, Eastern Central Time or Eastern Time, sorry, Eastern Time for the sampler so long and all we're doing is sharing our blogs and having a little chat and conversation but until next time i hope you be blessed be kind and keep sewing thank you